short players, this video is for you. If you are a shorter player and you wanna learn how to hit the ball, it's okay. It happens, but you know, height's not something that we can control. Nevertheless, don't let height stop you from doing something that you really wanna do, especially like hitting the ball. Let's get right into it. on the shorter side who are excellent swingers. It is a skill that absolutely everybody should know even if you don't hit front row. Why? Because there's back row attacks. Now, we haven't talked about back row attacks in great length, but I do wanna talk about some tips that if you are a shorter player, you haven't hit your growth spurt yet, you have hit your growth spurt, but you still wanna know something about how to approach the ball on the net. Let's get right into it. So there are some key things that you should know about the volleyball approach that does apply to you when you are a little bit shorter. If you haven't learned the volleyball approach, I'm gonna leave that link in the comments below so that way you can have a little bit better understanding of what a three step and a four step approach is. With the volleyball approach, it is imperative that you know how to do that before you try anything that is in this video. So shorter players, you have to have a good communication with your setter. That means that when you're talking to your setter, you need to talk to them about the set of the, the height of the set, how high it is, how far off the net that it comes, so that way it can be adjusted to you. Players like myself, 5'9", five, 5'10", five, six foot, we have a little bit of leeway, but we need to get set much differently. Having a good relationship with your setter is essential to making sure that you get the ball that is the most optimal for you. Shorter players, they do much better, you may do much better, with a off Set ball. What does it mean to have an offset ball? So right now I'm taking the perspective of a setter. An offset ball is making sure that the ball is five feet off of the net. Think about it this way. Let's think about math this way. If the 10 foot line is 10 feet, five feet is in the middle of that. So that gives the player a with their approach, but it also gives them time to see the court in a different perspective. If you are a shorter player and you're attempting to hit a tight ball, unless you have a crazy vertical, it is much more likely that the ball is gonna go into the net. We have to remember that when we're contacting the ball with our hand, we want to follow through so the ball can then soar over the net and go in and down. So a five foot off ball will give you the opportunity to hit up and over so that way the ball will go down and go in. So we have this something where you have to hit up and over. That is why we want you to have an off ball. So the off ball, remember, in the middle, about five feet off of the net. It is not so tight to the net in which you, when you're approaching it, you come in and you hit right into it. And if this is something that happens to you as a shorter player, you might need an off ball. So think about that. An off ball might be the change that you need in order to get your ball over. Now, if you're a shorter player, do not forget to jump. I've seen so many shorter players who do approach the net, they do their approach, they get to the last step, and they jump like a barely a baby hop. I want you to put your all into it. I know that you have to hit up and over, but that extra jump will give you that extra oomph to make sure you have the height that you need. Because if you're just standing here and you are on the shorter side, it's gonna go right into the net. And I'm sure that happens to a lot of you guys. So you want to make sure that if you're getting an off ball, you have the chance for the ball to land a little bit further away from the net to then give you the chance to hit it up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Okay? So that is how you receive the off ball. Since the ball is not tight, it's not here, so you don't have to run and jump and somehow make it that high. The ball is going to be about here. So it gives you the chance that when it does come down, up and over, up and over. So make sure you communicate with your setter about getting that off ball. And do not, absolutely do not forget to jump when necessary. Then you need to work on your transition and your approach. If you're approaching from the outside, we know that the outside has a little bit of extra core to be able to come into the ball. You need to practice your transition with that new off ball, communicating with the setter. I suggest that you get a friend, you find a sand court in your house, you are outside, 
working on it with your friends. Somehow you get with somebody and they can toss you a ball, they can set you a ball. We need to get you a off ball so you can practice your transition with that new setting, okay? We wanna make sure that when you are getting to that ball, it's not something where you're hitting it with your forearm, you're not hitting it with the tips of your fingers. So I suggest you catch it first. So when the off ball comes to you, you catch it to make sure that your body is in line. Doing your whole approach, it comes to you, you catch it to make sure that you're in line with the set. I hope that these setting tips and hitting tips really have helped you as a shorter player really understand some of the changes that you can make to your approach, the set, and the way you hit. With everything, I hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.